Hey guys, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Saggies, what's up? What's up? How you guys doing? All right, so let's look at what's happening for you, fire signs, September 25th and 26th. What is happening for you? <sighs> nice to see you. I have missed you guys. Nine of Wands. Boy, aren't you persistent. Persistent in the, in, you've been really through it here. What is going on for you? Oh, oh, let's see here. Yeah. Wow. 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 Um, that's so amazing. I feel like you're letting somebody win because you know you're going to win. To want to win is to be stuck in a situation. Yeah, you're gonna let you're letting somebody win or something. Overarching energy of your reading. Yeah, seven of cups here. It's sort of like pick your battles. Okay, pick your battles, fire sign. You're gonna let somebody win. Letting somebody win because if you hang on and not make a decision, you'll never get to the relationship you want. Okay, so. Look at this, um, fool, four of pentacles, world. So you're done holding on to something that is a battle that you don't see. You're, it's like you don't see the percentage in holding on anymore. You don't see the, you know, is it my bag in there? Yeah, it's my, it's my bag. Um, you don't see like the benefit of hanging on anymore. Okay, it's just sort of like, why am I fighting this fight? Why am I here? So the person you're fighting with, the person you're trying to just let go of here, Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles, uh, Six of Wands. So they're going to feel victory. Um, if this is somebody you're letting go of an old fight with, they've sort of been just waiting. They're being discerning. They're um, feeling like, they're on top of the world. Um, they're not, they're not sort of giving you anything, right? <laughs> they're not, they're not um, talking or anything like that. The queen of swords air sign can be just biding their time. Um, and if you're holding on to another relationship, you're letting go of that because you know, there's no point in doing it anymore. There's no point in that. So you're really deciding because this is what it's gotten you to hold on. You've held on and this is what it's gotten you. So you sort of just let go of this. You're letting go and you're moving forward. Um, and this other person can feel vindicated that you're stopping whatever you're doing, whatever, whatever the action is of holding on the four of pentacles, whatever that is, you kind of stop doing that. You've stopped either holding something in front of your heart. You stop doing that. You're like, you know what? There's no reason for me to keep doing this. I'm just going to drop that tactic of what I've been doing and I'm going to move forward, right? I'm just going to move forward. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fight with them. I'm not going to um, resist them either way. So for some of you, this could be a relationship that is long over that you're letting go of. For some of this, this could be a relationship that's just starting that hasn't really had a chance to get going yet. And whatever you're doing has really blocked blocked it moving forward because of baggage, right? Because of what has happened to you in the past, um, you're not making a decision, the seven of cups there, you're not making a decision to move forward because out of fear or out of um, uh, rem memory of having something go badly. So Knight of Pentacles, Two of Swords, that's some pretty slow moving energy, right? No decision being made, but yet fire sign, you're going to get your relationship in the in the end, because world, six of wands, four of wands, you're going to get what you want by changing your tactic, by let dropping something that wasn't working, four of pentacles, and just kind of walking away from the old way of doing it. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, the four of wands, your six of wands, four of wands, is ten of wands, so that's, right, so three of pentacles, Ace of Cups, King of Wands. 
So fire sign, you are by what got you here won't get you there. So you're by dropping the old way of doing love, you're opening yourself up, fool, world, star, opening yourself up to a lot more. You know, if you have been very guarded, if you have been somebody who doesn't really say their feelings or or tell a person how they feel ever, then do the opposite. This is opposite George day. <laughs> And what will, that will happen is opposite George, let go of those old patterns that weren't working, then this is what happens. So being aloof, letting go of that, really telling somebody how you feel, right? So opposite George day, that's what we're doing here. Um, Knight of Pentacles, this is slow moving energy here. It might take some, but the other person, <laughs> so they get elevated. King of Pentacles, Six of Swords coming toward you, loving you. Um, fire sign. This is somebody who is moving toward you, fire sign, with love. Queen of Cups here. They feel a lot of love here. Um, and they feel that this is a grounded situation now. Now that you're sort of opening up, you're opening up to them. That's the opposite of what they felt you were doing. And so by doing that, they're able to move toward you. They weren't able to make a decision because they weren't really getting an accurate read. They weren't really um, understanding what you were doing or saying because you were very so guarded. So opposite George Day. <laughs> All right. So let's do an extended read fire sign. There's a link below. Uh, I'll see you on the other side.